Six months ago, scientists utilized algae to power a low-energy computer chip. Researchers at the University of Cambridge housed a colony of cyanobacteria sometimes known as blue-green algae in a battery-sized metal container. According to new scientists, the device was then placed on a windowsill where the algae photosynthesized and generated a modest current of energy that powered an ARM Cortex M0 Plus processor. The system is still a proof of concept, but its developers are optimistic that algae-powered chips will be employed in the future Internet of Things devices. According to them, algae has a less environmental effect than typical batteries or solar power and might possibly supply continuous electricity. We believe that the developing Internet of Things will need an increasing quantity of energy, which will have to come from systems that can create energy as opposed to merely storing it like batteries. Professor Christopher Howe, the paper's co-senior author, said in a news release, Our photosynthetic technology does not deplete like a battery since it uses light as its energy source continuously. According to new scientists, the algae-powered ARM processor was utilized to do extremely simple computations while using just 0.3 microwatts per hour. Despite the fact that the energy consumption of typical computers varies dependent on variables such as workload and age, this is a minuscule fraction of the energy required to power a typical computer. If a typical desktop computer uses 100 watts per hour, it would need around 333 million algae batteries to power it. The researchers behind the study will need to scale up their approach, but they are encouraged by the fundamental attributes of algal power production. They claim that the algae they used did not need feeding since it obtained all of its energy requirements from natural sunlight and was able to continue generating energy at night using energy conserved throughout the day. The paper's lead author, Dr. Paolo Bomelli, stated in a news release, We were amazed by how consistently the system operated over a long period of time. We expected it to cease after a few weeks, but it simply kept going. Although this use of algae is unorthodox, it is part of the expanding field of study known as biophotovoltaics. The objective of this discipline is to harness the energy produced by microorganisms that transform light into electricity via photosynthesis. Although this method is incredibly inefficient, with plants collecting just 0.25% of the energy of sunlight compared to 20% absorbed by solar panel. Proponents claim that biophotovoltaic energy systems might be inexpensive and ecologically beneficial to manufacture. They anticipate that, in the future, floating lily pads covered in algae may serve as mobile power stations alongside offshore wind farms. Okay, that's all for today. What do you think? We will appreciate you subscribing to our YouTube channel and also smashing the like button. Till the next video, peace.